Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over a very easy but very difficult problem. 7 plus 7 divided by 7 plus 7 times 7 plus 7. Okay, so what's the um, answer to this um, expression? What does this expression equal to? Well, what makes this expression very easy is because it's just your basic um, operations, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, and we're dealing with relatively um, with a relatively small number here. Okay, what makes it difficult is how you execute the operations, also known as the order of operations. Many people um, evaluate this expression by um, inaccurately applying the order of operations. That's why you end up um, with different answers. Okay, so what are the order of operations that will enable everyone who follows it correctly to get the same result? The order of operation is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, it can also be uh, is commonly known as PEMDAS. It can also be written as PE PED PEDS PENSA. <laughs> Well, why am I writing it in this uh, way? Well, these two or orders of operation are correct. What this just tells you is that the first operation you execute is the parenthesis. Anything that's grouped together, you carry out the evaluation of that um, operation. And then next is your exponent. Now, multiplication and division are um, of the same hierarchy. It doesn't matter. Um, whether you multiply divide first, ideally you go from left to right, but whenever you have multiplication and division um, in a problem and you don't have parentheses or exponents, you do them the same time. Okay, it doesn't really matter um, uh, which one you do first, but always just go from left to right. That's standard procedure, okay? So multiplication and division are in the same hierarchy, and then addition and subtraction are the ones you do last. It doesn't matter which one you do first, okay? Um, but standard procedure, you can go from left to right. So if I order them um, from the top, so first thing you do is parentheses, parentheses for grouping, brackets, things like that. E is for exponent. Multiplication and division are of the same hierarchy. You do both of them um, at the same time, ideally from left to right. And then addition and subtraction are of the same hierarchy, okay? Now, this problem also highlights the power of the P in PEMDAS, which is the parentheses. If I grouped the operations properly in this problem, then it's very easy to determine what to do first. Now, since we do not have any parentheses, we have to follow the order of operations, okay? So what the order of operation tells us to do is look for parentheses or groupings first, there are none. We advance to exponents, there are none, but we have multiplication and division. So what we're going to do first is we're going to focus in on, um, let's use parentheses for that, this one and this one, okay? This is division and this is multiplication. So these two are the ones we do first. Does it ma matter the one we do first? It doesn't really matter. They're of the same hierarchy, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We will have 7 plus, 7 divided by 7 is 1 plus 7 times 7 is 49 minus 7. So you have to do all the multiplication and division at the same time, okay? Don't do multiplication and then go to addition and then go back to multiplication. You can't zigzag. Get rid of all the multiplication and division at the same time as we did here. Now we only have addition and subtraction. It doesn't really matter the order you carry out the adding and subtracting. Um, you will still get the same answer, okay? But customarily, it's good to go from left to right. So I'm going to put my parentheses here, put my parentheses here, basically indicating to the reader that I'm going to um, combine these two and combine these two in the next step, all right? So you see the power um, of the P in parentheses, okay? So 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 49 minus 7 is 42. Okay, and we are left with one last operation, and that last operation is addition, 8 plus 42 is 50. Okay, so do not forget your order of operations. 
and most importantly, always group before you carry out your operation in order to communicate your intentions to the reader. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found this um, tutorial beneficial, please give us a thumbs up. We'll appreciate the positive feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. If you have any comments on this on clip or have any questions um, concerning math in general, please uh, place your comment in the comment section below and we'll be glad to address it as soon as possible. More clips can be found on mathcutserve.com. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.